you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys in today's video I'm going to share with you my huge Amazon book haul I cannot wait to share with you guys all of the books that I have added to our homeschool library so you guys, if any of you are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I am actually a homeschooling mom to three girls, ages 10, three, and two. I'm in my second year of homeschooling. So you guys, I cannot wait to share with you all of the books. Um, the first books that I am going to share with you guys are gonna be for like my preschoolers. Right now, me and my preschoolers, we are actually really enjoying playing preschool. We are doing our colors unit. I had to check out a lot of books from our library. And of course, when you check out books from the library, you have to go ahead and purchase some to add to your home library so out of our colors unit I just picked out the books that my daughters they just always wanted me to read to them over and over again the first book that we read was 10 black dots and this is such a cute picture book for little toddlers when you're teaching them early counting skills I really love the illustrations in here and they are really enjoying this book right here. It was a really cute activity with the 10 black dots. Uh, so I'm really happy to add this one to our homeschool library. We also have mouse paint. You guys, they really enjoyed this mouse paint book when I was showing them how you mix colors, to, uh, primary colors, and they change into our secondary colors. This is just a really cute book, you guys, of these three little mice. And they got into three jars of paint. And of course, as they got into the jars of paint, they was falling into the other jars and they were learning that different colors mixed together and made another color. So this was such a cute book in teaching primary and secondary colors. I know this concept may have went over their head a little bit, but I am so happy to have this book that I can go over it with them over and over again. Another book was definitely a big hit was Freight Train. You guys, they love Freight Train so much. I loved it because of how bright and illustrated the colors are. Of course, my girls right now, they're like in this train kick, so they're loving trains in itself. So this was such a cute book for us to go over as we did our colors unit. And I'm so happy that I added this one into our home library. I actually purchased the paperback books instead of like the hard covers. My daughters, they're actually getting a lot better with books. So I think I may be able to start getting more like paperback books instead of like board books for them because they're actually doing pretty, pretty good. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited to add these books in our home library. So you guys, my middle daughter, Leia, she's actually in speech therapy and the speech therapist has recently been reading like really, really good literature books to her. And she's really, really been enjoying all the book selections that she's been reading to her. So of course I had it to add some of them to our home library. The first book that um, my daughter's speech therapist read to her it was, was called The Snowy Day. And you guys, this book is so cute. It follows along a little boy, Peter and all of his adventures he had on their snowy day. And it was such a cute book. My daughter, she really enjoyed reading this with a the speech therapist. Uh, the speech therapist had like a whole bunch of games and activities that she did after uh, they read the book. And I just had to get this one for her. We live in Georgia, you guys, and we actually don't have any snow. When we do get snow, it's like dusting. It's not real snow. So for her to be able to experience snow in a picture book, I thought that that was, you know, it was really cute another book that her speech therapist read to her and she really enjoyed was froggy gets dressed you guys this is such a cute little story about this frog and he wants to go outside and play in the snow and each time he goes outside you guys he forgets to put on like another article of clothing and my daughter she was laughing so hard when we were doing this book for her a speech therapy session so i had to get this one for her uh, as we are closing out winter i feel like this was definitely a good one to add to our home library and the last book that my daughter really enjoyed for her speech therapy sessions was The Mitten. And I think this one is really just a classic. So I'm really happy to have this one in our homeschool library. Again, you guys, this book, it's a classic and the illustrations are so beautiful and um, they definitely love this one. 
Now you guys, I don't know about you, but I am done with winter. I'm over it, I'm over the cold. I am ready for like our warmer days. Here in Georgia, you guys, I we have probably like four more weeks of the cold and we will start getting into like the upper 60s, uh, um, low 70s weathers pretty, pretty soon. So I went ahead and I started collecting some books to add to our spring library collection. The first book I have, you guys, is Goodbye Winter, Hello Spring. And now I actually have all of the books in the series. I have, what is it, Goodbye Autumn, Goodbye Summer, Hello Autumn. And I also have Goodbye Autumn, Hello Winter. And these are really, really bo uh, good books to teaching your younger ones about the seasons and how they change. Again, these books right here, you guys, they have beautiful illustrations and I love them. So it's just showing winter going into its clothes and they are going to end off in spring. And look how pretty that is. So yes, I'm really excited to add this book to our bookshelf really, really soon. I also have Lola Plants a Garden. This is one of our first Lola books. So hopefully uh, my toddlers will love it. I mean, look how cute that is. So they have a whole bunch of books in the Lola series. So if they enjoy this one right here, you guys, of course, I will probably add a few more into their collection. So I'm really happy to have this one. Another new one we are adding to our library is The Honeybee. And again, this is a really cute book. Hopefully I can um, do a bug unit with my uh, toddlers. I have the Purely Preschool Insect Unit that I can pull out and I think that these books right here will be such a good book to add to our edition when we do like our bug unit this spring. So I know they're going to really enjoy this one. Another classic in the homeschooling community is The Gardeners. We Are The Gardeners by Joanna Gaines and her kids. So I had to get this one, you guys. This again, is just a classic and hopefully uh, the girls, they will enjoy this one as well. So you guys, I went ahead and I got my first big book of, and this one right here is the big book of bloom, of the blooms. And this just goes over all of the different types of flowers. You guys, look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. So I am so excited to dive into this book. Last year we planted some flowers in the spring and I definitely know my daughters are going to enjoy uh, planting and getting outside. We actually did a botany unit last spring. This spring we're actually not going to do like a specific unit when it comes to plants or anything like that. However, we're still going to go outside. We're going to get our hands dirty and I definitely know they will enjoy uh, this book right here. This book actually has five in the collection. What is this? The Big Book of the Blue, The Big Book of Birds, The Big Book of Beasts, and The Big Book of Bugs. So hopefully as uh, we go through these, I can collect some of the other ones as well. So I'm happy to have my first Big Book of. These right here are two books that we have from last spring that I just want to go ahead and add into today's video. And the first one is A Seed is Sleepy. This one, you guys, was such a beautiful book to add in our um, botany unit as we were talking about seeds. And my daughter was able to see different types of seeds, how um, they are planted. And it was such a beautiful way for us to go over seeds and I really enjoyed this one. The illustrations are so beautiful and we learned a lot from this one. Along with that one, I went ahead and I got A Butterfly is Patient. I was really hoping to do like some type of bug unit last year. However, we never got a chance to like really get into one. So hopefully we can really dive into this book this year. And again, this has just such beautiful illustrations. I really want to get like one of those uh, butterfly kits for my daughters. I really think they will enjoy watching the caterpillar turn into a butterfly. So I think I'm going to do that for them this spring and then uh, we'll have this book right here to read um, just to kind of get out of the monotony of just our regular everyday routine with the you know curriculum and the books uh, for us to do like a really fun activity I think that they will enjoy this one with the butterfly kit as well 
So you guys, I really wanted to up my, my game when it comes to my uh, toddlers. I know they're getting older and I really wanted to have like some type of reference book for them that's gonna have just like all of the things that they need to learn and they are learning. So Christy from These Little Sprouts, she actually mentioned this book on her Instagram page and I had to get it. And this is called The Encyclopedia of, of Very Important Things by DK. And again, this book right here, you guys, it is so cute it goes over everything it goes over uh, the important things about the planet places animals it goes over people important things about me so it goes over your body and it's also just other important things like colors and shapes and fruit you guys this is such a cute reference book for uh just early elementary I mean look at that it's so adorable and it really does touch on like a lot of really important things and I really feel like some of these pages right here you guys I can go over with them right now so I am really really excited about uh, this reference book right here now you guys, it is Black History Month and I'm so excited uh, to continue to read all of the new books that we added to our library as far as Black History Month. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys some of the books that I probably already shared in my other video, but I just wanna touch on them again. And the first in the book we have is I Affirm Me. And you guys, this is such a beautiful book. Look at that, look at the little girls. <laughs> I'm gonna read this page to you. It says, A is for Afro, I'm proud of my textured halo. It shows pride in my roots. Each coil creates my crown. You guys, that's so cute. And look at the little girls, they're doing science. That is so cute. So we have been really enjoying this book right here for Black History Month. Me and my daughter, we have only been picking like one letter a day and she's really been enjoying reading this one. Another new book that we added in our library is The ABCs of Black History. And again, you guys, this book is really beautifully illustrated. We only go over like one letter a day because my daughter said she wanted this book to last. I mean, look how beautiful that is. So I'm so excited to have this new book in our library for Black History Month. Now, another reference book that I added to our library, again, is another DK book. You guys, Tori from the Oglesby Ohan, she has me addicted to DK books. They're really, really good. I think I have like five of them now. So this is like my sixth DK book, but they're just really good for when you just need a quick reference. You need a quick, you need a quick, um, you need to be able to look up something really, really quick. You can just grab one of your reference books off your shelves. And this has probably been like my biggest tool that I have been using to since I started homeschooling. So I'm really excited to add this one, which is the Timelines for Black History, Leaders, Legends, and Legacies. And this book, you guys, has been beautiful. I really love the layout of this book. And my daughter has been enjoying reading this book as she's learning different people within Black history. So yes, I'm really excited about this one. And you guys, I have two more books that I have recently added to our homeschool library. Now these books right now, I am actually reading them. My daughter, she will read them soon. My daughter, you guys, she has been asking me more like critical questions when it comes to history. Like why did that group of people do this? Or what was their motive? What was their reasoning behind this? And it's going beyond me being able to just pull off our American history encyclopedia and just showing her dates and timelines. She's really challenging me when it comes to history. So I am re-educating myself, you guys, when it comes to history. And right now I am actually reading Howard Zinn's A Young People, A Young People's History of the United States. So I really have been enjoying this book, you guys. I'm only on the uh, what is it, the second or the third chapter of this book, and I have been learning so much. We will use these books as spines when it comes to our American history curriculum for next year. However, I want to read them so when she asks me those questions, I can be able to give her an answer that uh, she's looking for. So I am reading this one right now, and another one I have is um, an indigenous people's history of the United States for young people. And again, these two books are allowing me to be able to answer those questions for my daughter in a way that I feel like I was unable to answer right now. I mean, when it comes to history, you guys, I am relearning and hopefully I can give my daughter a good American history experience and hopefully these books uh, will help me to be able to help teach her. So um, yeah. 
so you guys, those are all of my Amazon book hauls. I really hope you enjoy seeing all the new books and the new goodies that I'm adding in my homeschool. So you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you leave feeling inspired and ready for spring just like I am. <laughs> so you guys, I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.